Hey everyone, this is going to be another collection uh, video showing you guys at least part of my collection of DVDs here. So this is going to be um, having a look at Disney cartoons, old school Disney cartoons. I'm not sure what I want to call this video, I guess, but old school Disney cartoons sounds pretty good. So basically my collection of Disney afternoon era, Disney Channel, Toon Disney, One Saturday Morning, those kinds of things. Um, and I'm just going to show you everything that I have, and I hope I didn't forget anything on the shelf, but but yeah, that's what I'm going to show you guys. And um, I'm going to kind of start from roughly oldest to newest, but I'm not exactly, um, I'm not really strict on that. So I think for as far as themes, I'm going to start with the ducks. So let's get into it. All right, so the first set of DVDs I'm going to show you guys are my collection of ducks, including DuckTales, Darkwing Duck, and Quack Pack. So I will set uh, some of these off to the side for now, and let's just start with DuckTales. I've got four uh, DVD sets here, and I'll set these two off to the side here for now. Uh, these two packages are the complete series of the original uh, DuckTales. So we finally did get these... Um, all on DVD, which is a real shocker because I know people have been, you know, people were asking for this for such a long time and, uh, you know, it didn't seem like it was ever going to happen, but then it did. So uh, that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. Um, there have been uh, many different issues of this. Um, this is the most recent, both of these are the most recent releases of the, of the DuckTales and they are you know, kind of the most compact ways you can get this. It would be really cool if they actually did a full-on complete series uh, package. Instead, we have this 10-disc uh, set here, which they call the Classic Series, which has 70 episodes plus a movie. And I think there's a little discrepancy on that 70 episodes. I think, it, I don't know, I forget the details on that. It, um, but the number might be a little bit off. But anyways... So this, this contains like roughly three quarters of the complete series and then plus the movie and then the remainder is on this volume four set right here. And so uh, what does this contain? Well, it, it, it shows you right on the back here. We've got DuckTales volume one, volume two, and volume three. Each of these are three disc sets that were released individually and they were, uh, they were basically released and then re-released and then re-released again in this package. So... Uh, this is what the uh, original artwork looked up like on these, and it, and it was pretty nice. Um, I forget what years these all came out, but it was well over 10 years ago, I think. Um, I remember getting the original Volume 1 DuckTales at Sam's Club back in the day. Uh, Sam's Club doesn't even sell DVDs anymore, so um, that's kind of a hint of how long it's been. Uh, but they came in... Each of these kind of came in like a box set format, um, and then they reissued them into a uh, slimmer package design, which is very similar to this kind of style here. Um, and then we got this set here, which just is extreme, you know, this just really condenses them all. And, um, and this came out just a few years ago, so this is actually, uh, this is not too old, but it does contain old discs inside of it. So, so yeah, like I said... Um, would be really cool if they did, you know, just a full-on complete series set that puts both of these in one set. But this is what we have, and I think this is kind of the end of the road. This is just my guess, and that's probably true for a lot of these titles here. Um, I think this is the end of the road. This is what we get. I don't think we're ever going to get anything else just because, I th you know, this is going to kind of be the theme of the video. But Disney is just, uh, you know, they're kind of full-on with the Disney Plus right now, I think, and streaming and... I, I don't know that they're really uh, putting a whole lot of, um, you know, effort into their physical uh, media releases at this time. And I don't know if they will ever in the future again. I have no idea. Um, but it is what it is. So, let's see. So, first of all, I'll, I'll just show you this one here. So, this is the classic series, 10-disc set. And I do like the artwork on this. The, the, the white background is a bit plain, but it, it looks really nice overall. We've got the spine here, which looks good. And then the back, and I really like that they did include the uh, original cover art from these releases here. Um, 
Some of you guys have seen my previous videos where I talk about, you know, why wouldn't I just keep my, you know, my first releases of these? Because it's, it's just rebuying the same thing. And um, it's just because I like to have the slimmer packaging. I, that's just what I personally prefer. And, um, you know, the thickness of this entire set right here um, is about as thick as just one of these volumes each was. So it's like, you know, you're saving a lot of shelf space, and I just like it all condensed into one package here. So... So that's why I went for this one, and um, you get the little thumbnails of the original artwork, so it's like kind of the same thing. You are kind of missing out a little bit because each of the uh, individual DVDs came in their individual DVD cases, and those had their own unique artwork too, so you're missing out that way. But I just prefer the slimmer packaging, so, so that's that. But I'll give you a little tour of what we have inside here. Disney Movie Rewards codes. Um... And then an advertisement for the Disney Movie Club. And, you know, that's a, that's a rant for kind of another day, but I'll just say one thing about the Disney Movie Club. This one here, Volume 4, is a Disney Movie Club exclusive. It says Disney DVD exclusive right there. Um, you can only get this on the Disney Movie Club, or if you wanted to pay uh, sort of like a higher fee, you could get it from a reseller on eBay or something like that, which, you know, you could do that. That might be more worth it if you don't want to get a Disney Movie Club membership. But, but in any case, Disney Movie Club, they haven't really been releasing a whole lot of new exclusive lately, so, you know, I don't know. This was, this was one of them, but they really haven't been releasing a lot of exclusives lately. So, is it worth being a member of Disney Movie Club? I don't know. It depends. Um, if you want some of the older titles that they already have and you don't have them yet, then yes. But if you're looking for new stuff from them, I don't know. They haven't done it in a long time. Anyways, um, here's what we get inside. We've got DuckTales, the movie Treasure of the Lost Lamp, which is an excellent movie. On the left here, it is kind of a standard boring gray packaging, or uh, artwork, I should say, unfortunately. Um, so that's that's just that. Um, I know that it was uh, originally released, this this movie was originally released as a Disney Movie Club exclusive before it got reissued as, uh, you know, sold everywhere kind of thing. And I think it had better artwork, but um, you get the plain gray there. But each of the volume sets have their own uh, unique and very nice artwork on each of the discs. So we've got disc number one from volume one, and then disc two. And then disc three right there. Really, really nice artwork on these, I have to say. And then you go to uh, volume two with disc one, disc two, and then disc three. And then you go to volume three with disc one, disc two, and finally disc three. So that is what we have in this collection. It's very nice. It's nice and uh, it's nice to get everything all in one. And the price of this was pretty cheap too. It was like, you know, 20 bucks or something at Walmart. I don't know that they still sell it there. I don't think they do. But you can probably find it online for a fairly reasonable price. And uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, the next one I'll show you is the Volume 4, which finishes off the series. And like I said, this is a uh, Disney Movie Club exclusive, and this is one that they released because basically everybody was uh, really asking for it, and we just, you know, there was a lot of folks that just kept pestering at Disney in various ways, um, and uh, we wanted to have the complete series of DuckTales, and uh, they did finally uh, deliver, so um, that's awesome. Like I said again, would be cool if they did a complete series package, but you know, I, I have very low hopes that that will ever happen, and at least we have the complete series the way that this is, which is pretty good. So, uh, Volume 4, Disney Movie Club exclusive. It's a three-disc set, and it has the remaining 25 episodes. There's the spine, and then here's the back. There is no episode list that I am aware of, so it's kind of unfortunate, but um, it is what it is. Um, and that's, that's the same for this one, too. It would have been nice if they... Uh, gave some episode lists for each of the, the DVDs. So um, I have it, you know, I, I've, I've thought about making my own, but I'm not, uh, I'm a little lazy to do that. So we'll see. But anyways, here's disc one, disc two, and then finally disc three. It is a kind of a plain, boring uh, white artwork. 
style here, but I actually kind of like it for some reason. Uh, I don't know if the white just kind of looks nice, but but certainly I do like the artwork on these ones a bit better. So that is the original DuckTales series on DVD. Really nice to have that. And then I'll just quickly show you these. These aren't really old school, but these are the newer, uh, the newest release of DuckTales. The, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but, um, but yeah, these are basically two compilation DVDs with some random episodes. DuckTales Woo Woo, and then DuckTales Destination Adventure. So I'll show you this one first, and I do like the uh, disc art on these. It's very nice. And then here's the back. Six bonus shorts, welcome to Duckburg. Um, so yeah, take a look at what's inside. This has this uh, kind of standard white artwork style here. Disney Movie Rewards, Disney Movie Club. So that's what's in there. So this was the first DVD release of this uh, reissue of DuckTales, uh, this modern um, remake of it, I guess, whatever you want to call it. So that's neat. And then we've got uh, Destination Adventure right here. Again, nice artwork. And this one is interesting, actually. So you've got, uh, you know, several episodes on here. I think it's six again, just like the first one. But it also says it includes bonus classic episodes, New Gizmo Kids on the Block and Ducky Mountain High. First time on DVD. So they kind of uh, they kind of capitalized on that. They capitalized on the fact that um, they had not released the entire series of DuckTales on DVD yet. So they're like, hey, let's, uh, let's try to get some money out of those folks who are wanting those episodes by just tossing a couple of random ones onto this uh, compilation DVD so we can sell some extra copies of this. At least that's my take on it. Um, so that, I, I don't remember release dates on any of these, but I'm guessing this one got released before this one did because obviously those episodes are on this uh, DVD set. But, but yeah, that's just kind of an interesting little tidbit. So, so there's that. So that takes care of DuckTales. And next we'll move on to another classic show. This is Darkwing Duck. We've got two volumes of this show, and this is not the complete series. It's uh, kind of a similar situation as um, uh, uh, DuckTales there, where I think, I think it would only require... Well, I'm actually not sure how many volumes additionally it would require to release the complete series. It, at least one other volume, maybe two other volumes, if they went by this kind of roughly 20, 25 episodes per volume kind of standard. Because um, I think they usually did about 100 episodes per show for these old shows. So I guess I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go into too many details so, since I don't know off the top of my head how many episodes there are of Darkwing Duck. But I know that this is not the complete series. So would be nice if Disney could just uh, finish this one off as well, but will they? I don't know. I know people have been asking for a long time, and it just hasn't happened, but... But for now, I'll show you these. Pilot and the first 25 episodes in this set here. This is Volume 1. And just like DuckTales, uh, this is a reissue of the original set, which came in more of a box set style. But I prefer the slimmer packaging and just the regular size DVD case that these come in, so I like this particular version better. Um, but yeah, here it is, and uh, pretty nice overall. So we'll open this up, and uh, this has the original artwork from each of these discs from the first release, Disney Movie Rewards, and this actually does have an episode list, so that's pretty cool. And that's another thing I, I'm trying to think about too for the uh, for the DuckTales, I think some of the original uh, releases of the volume sets might have had episode lists. Now I can't remember, but I think they did. So that's one thing you miss out by buying that uh, the slimmer packaging set. Um, it's a cheaper price, but you don't get the episode lists. So that's just uh, uh, something to take note of. But here are the discs for uh, this set. And it also does have, uh, yeah, it does have back artwork, which is very nice as well. So... So there's that, and then I'll show you volume two. This one has 27 episodes, and it's quite nice. And basically the same stuff inside as the first volume, Disney movie 
uh, rewards episode list on the left there disc number one disc number two and disc number three with some more back artwork right there so pretty cool releases Again, would be nice if they uh, finish this series off and uh, give us the however many remaining volumes we need. But there's Darkwing Duck. And one last show from the Ducks here is Quack Pack, Volume 1. And uh, this one is just a very bare bones release. It's got nice artwork on the front. And there's the spine. And then here is the back. And... Uh, it only has three episodes on it, so it's not a three disc set with like 27 episodes. This is literally just three episodes. So I don't know, I don't know what their thought was. This was released a long time ago. See down here it says 2006 DVD release and it was just kind of a introduction of Quack Pack and they also did uh, uh, Goof Troop as well with a three episode uh, DVD release. And so, you know, very, very bare bones, but they haven't released anything else Quack Pack. Um, so this is all you can get if you want a little sampler of Quack Pack, unfortunately. And it's better than nothing, I will say that, but, you know, obviously it would be nice to get a Quack Pack com complete series or something like that. Little advertisement for some other Disney DVDs coming soon, all of these, which obviously those have been out for a long time. And then a, basically a reprinting of the cover art there. Um, then we've got the single disc right here, and there it is. And like I said, they, they're, they're calling it Volume 1. There was never a Volume 2 or anything, um, so this is just its own release. Um, and basically, that's that. So, Quack Pack. Uh, next one we'll move into is Tailspin, another classic, and another one that, uh, just like DuckTales, this is the complete series. So that is really cool. And, um, yeah, they did it a little differently, I guess you could say, because this uh, final volume wasn't a Disney Movie Club exclusive. This was available everywhere. But this uh, third volume came out, uh, you know, pretty well after these first two did. These first two were out for a while. These first two had the, uh, uh, the old school box set style of packaging and then got reissued like this. And then this one is, this is the original release, and this came out many years after these two are originally originally released so um, so that's kind of the story there slightly different uh, packaging style here with this one in a black case with the other two are clear cases but um, anyways so let's take a look the first one is volume one comes with the pilot and the first 23 episodes now another thing to note about a lot of these sets is I don't think um, for some reason some of the episodes are not in like sequential order um, I don't know why they, that is. I think they mostly are, but for some reason they're not all, like, you know, in order of how the episodes came out or anything. I don't know why that is, but um, that's just something to, to note, I guess. But, yeah, pilot in the fir and uh, the first 23 episodes, so I guess this one might be, but anyways. Uh, nice artwork on this. There's the spine and then the back. And this is just like the Darkwing Duck episodes. It does have an episode list, which you can see right here. And it looks like uh, it just shows the first disc on the left side here. But um, here is the uh, disc art for these, which are all very, very nice, very colorful. And then we have the episode lists for the other two discs on the right side. So overall, really, really cool packaging. Um, really like these original ones. Um, and then here's the second volume, 27 additional episodes. So there's that. And then we've got the disc one artwork on the left. And there's disc one there. Disc two, and then, whoops, disc three, and the artwork on the right side with episode lists. 
So that is awesome. So that's volume two. Now we'll take a look at volume three. And this is a short volume. It just has 11 episodes. Um, they're just finishing this one off. And um, I like the artwork on this one as well. Follows kind of with the theme of the other ones. So there it is. And then uh, inside here, um, we do not have an episode list. So this is kind of the odd one out. But we've got some inserts here. Disney Movie Club, Disney Movie Rewards. Just going to check on the back quick. I wanted to check and make sure there wasn't any back artwork on there. You never know if there could be back artwork hiding and you just haven't seen it because the case is black. But uh, in this case, there is uh, no episode list. And the uh, artwork is pretty plain on the discs so so there's that you can tell you can definitely tell the generational difference uh, with how much uh, decoration they kind of put on the inside of this um, but in any case don't care so much about that it's just really nice to have all the episodes on DVD so that's uh, two sets that got a complete series and the other ones all a lot of these other ones have not there's a few other ones that I'll show you that did but Anyway, we'll move on to the next show here. This is Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Interesting release that, that they did with this one and also Goof Troop. So, um, it, I don't know. They, they've done some unique things like with some of these uh, older releases. But I'll, I'll show you the back first here. Um, Chippendale Rescue Rangers Volume 1 and Volume 2. These were released individually. They came in uh, old school box set style. Then they got reissued individually in kind of this similar case style then they got reissued again with both of the two sets in one like this so um obviously i wanted to get the slimmest packaging and everything and this is a nice set so that's what i have here um it's a six disc set you got a lot of stuff in one here um, but it is, it is not the complete series you got 51 episodes but it is not the complete series it might just be half of the series whatever but um, and again, same story as the other ones. Be nice if they released the, re the rest of the episodes on additional volumes. But for now, this is all we have. Um, so there it is. There's the spine. And then here's the back. And just like the others, um, get these individually and they'll have um, episode lists and all that stuff. This one is much more bare bones, unfortunately, and does not have that. But we got Disney Movie Rewards. Disney Movie Club, and then we've got each of the discs. So, so it's a case where I could just make my own episode list if I really wanted it. But uh, nice that the artwork on all of these is uh, all original, same as the individual releases. So there's the first volume here ending with disc three, and we've got the second volume starting with disc one, disc two, and disc three right there. So. Again, you kind of lose some of the detail uh, for the convenience of a cheaper price and having everything in a slimmer package. So that's what I personally prefer, but others may prefer it the other way where you have uh, more stuff on your shelf, but more detail for the stuff with the episode lists and so forth. So Chippendale Rescue Rangers, this is a good release. Just wish there that we could get the complete series. Basically the same story with Goof Troop. So... Um, yeah, this is a two-volume set, 54 episodes, and the, the series is not completed. I like the artwork on this one quite a bit. And Goof Troop is actually probably, if I had to pick any of these old-school shows, um, Goof, Troop, Goof Troop is probably my favorite. I just always loved it, and um, so it's really cool to have this. And, uh, and yeah, so let's just take a look at what we have inside of this one. And... So here's a look at the Disney Movie Rewards. Uh, I guess this one didn't come with a Disney Movie Club ad, I guess, but in any case. Now this one is a little bit different, I guess, just because um, the original Goof Troop volumes were Disney Movie Club exclusives. Then they got reissued as um, uh, full wide uh, in-store releases. So Disney Movie Club exclusives first, then they got reissued in all the stores in their two original volumes. And this is the third reissue with both volumes in one set. So uh, the reason for the plain artwork is just because it never had any fancy artwork. Um, so that's what we get. 
uh, Goof Troop Volume 1, Disc 1, Disc 2, Disc 3, and then uh, Volume 2, Disc 1, Disc 2, Disc 3. So that's what we get there. And um, that is Goof Troop. Um, but I will very quickly just show you the, whoops, the Goofy movies as well. And the first one, because um, this has an episode of Goof Troop on it as a bonus feature, Calling All Goofs. And I believe that that episode is not present on these. Uh, so that's the only way that you can get that episode as far as I'm aware right now. So I thought I would show you that quickly. A goofy movie. And this is one of my favorite um, uh, releases, I would say, because first of all, a goofy movie is one of my favorite movies of all time, and they also just did a really good job with you know the overall artwork on it and having a good amount of bonus features. Like there's a lot of stuff contained in this DVD, um, so I really like that. Of course, a goofy movie is now on Blu-ray from Disney Movie Club as a, as an exclusive, but that release is very bare bones it just has the movie it doesn't have any of these bonus features so i'm keeping both of those copies then an extremely goofy movie which doesn't have any uh doesn't really have any notable bonus features as far as like old school disney afternoon cartoons are concerned but there it is just to show you it um i love this movie as well really good sequel in my opinion this is some this is giving me trouble pulling this out uh, this one had a really nice, uh, nice quality insert. Very, very old school with all the chapters listed and everything, and a detailed look at all the special features. So this is something that you just you just don't get these anymore in DVD releases. They just, uh, you know, they wouldn't print it. So anyway, there are the Goofy movies, and then kind of gonna start to shift gears a little bit into sort of newer stuff or newer stuff in quotes, but just uh, a few years after some of these originals. This is a random one, Growing Up with Winnie the Pooh, Love and Friendship. I forget what's actually on this, but I think there are some episodes of like the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh on this. Um, so that's kind of an old school show. Um, it'd be really cool if we got like actual releases of the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh on DVD with all the episodes and everything instead of some of these weird uh, educational themed uh, things but the, these have their own they have their own unique purpose but you know for the rest of us would be nice to get new adventures of Winnie the Pooh on um, some sort of physical copy in like a com just do a complete series how about that Disney if you wouldn't mind complete series of all these shows um, you know we'll buy them all of us uh, you know, old school collectors. Um, it is kind of a niche, niche, niche sort of, um, you know, group of people who would buy these. So it's not like a lot. You no, know, obviously a lot of, there aren't a lot of people who are, who are out shopping for physical media releases anymore. It's just the way it is. Um, but for those of us who are old school collectors, we'll pay the, you know, we'll probably, a lot of us will probably pay higher prices just to get them on physical copy just because we like them that in that format. Anyway, moving on, we've got The Adventures of the Gummy Bears, which this is not a show that I really watched when I was growing up. I just, for some reason, never saw it, but I don't know. Um, seasons one through three, I, I actually have no idea if this is the complete series or anything. I'm guessing it is not. Um, otherwise, it would probably say the complete series instead of seasons one through three, but in any case, here it is. I think this had a... I can't remember if this is a reissue, but uh, this is the most recent version anyways, and it might be the original. Um, I feel like it probably had a box set style as a first release, though. Um, but I never had it originally, so Disney Movie Rewards. Episode listing as inside artwork. Here's a look at the discs, which have very nice disc artwork. And then on the right, more episodes and thumbnails. So overall, very cool release. And the next one here, this is kind of moving into sort of one Saturday morning-ish stuff a uh, little bit. At least, at least those are those are those are the format that I remembered watching these shows. But they were also on other 
other channels as well, cable and so forth, that I didn't, I didn't have, I didn't always have the, I didn't always have cable access, so, um, so Dinosaurs, the complete first and second seasons, uh, four disc set, I think this is the complete series, both of these, uh, this is the third and fourth season, I think this makes up the complete series, I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure, um, and this is a reissue, it, uh, I think it was released in a box set style. I never owned it. Um, and I also think it had, you know, more Disney wording on it before. Now it has uh, ABC Studios and Buena Vista or Buena Vista uh, Home Entertainment or what does that say? Yeah, Home Entertainment. Um, so I don't know why that change happened, but uh, it did. And this is the version. These are the versions that I have anyways. Um, so, yeah, not a lot of Disney wording on these. Although we do at the bottom have the Disney Movie Rewards included, um, but that's the only real Disney mention in here. And I do have some floating plastic inside here. Um, but yeah, Disney Movie Rewards. Um, it's got a sort of thank you for purchasing sort of message type of thing here, which is pretty cool. And you've got the discs right here with fairly plain uh, artwork. These are four disc sets, unlike the others, which are three. And this has uh, episode listing on the right. Very nice. And unfortunately, my case is a little bit broken, as you can see here. The hinge is uh, busted off the bottom, so I really should try to find a replacement case for this. But that's, uh, that's a task for another day, I guess. Then next up, we have the complete third and fourth seasons. This is a four disc set again. Uh, very similar packaging style as that first uh, release here. Comes with a nice um, amount of bonus features. So we've got Disney Movie Rewards. And then again, a little uh, sort of thank you for purchasing sort of message up here at the top. Bonus feature listing. Here's a look at the discs. And then the episode list on the right here. So a nice comprehensive collection of this series. This was not one of my favorite shows or anything, um, but I do remember watching it on one Saturday morning, I think it was. And um, so there are some fond memories of this, but it just wasn't one of my favorite shows. But, uh, you know, just the collector in me had to get these. So there's that. So as I'm getting about halfway through my video here, I forgot that I did not check the Christmas section on my shelf for a few additional titles that I need to show you guys. Uh, so here's a couple that go with the old school titles here. Uh, the first is Have Yourself a Goofy Little Christmas. This is an episode of Goof Troop. Um, this is a re reissue that was released in all the stores, um, originally re released as a Disney Movie Club exclusive that actually matched with this one. Um, and so here this is. I really, really like the artwork on this quite a bit. And uh, this is one of my favorite episodes of Goof Troop, I gotta say, too. So, um, yeah, just overall really nice artwork. You get inside and it's really plain. You just got the uh, one gray disc there. Um, Disney Movie Rewards, Disney Movie Club. So pretty plain stuff inside, but that is a Christmas release that I forgot about. Um, so I had to show you that. That's another episode that I don't think is on the any of the other Goof Troop. Uh, DVD releases, so that's one to get if you want to have as many episodes as you can. Then we've also got Darkwing Duck, It's a Wonderful Leaf, Disney Movie Club exclusive, and it just has the one Christmas-themed episode. Um, now this one is definitely re redundant, you don't need to get this, as this episode, I think this is on Volume 2 of the DuckTales, or, or excuse me, Darkwing Duck DVDs, um, I forget exactly, but it is on those, so you don't need to get uh, this particular DVD release if you want that episode. You can just get the volume sets, and uh, you'll have it on there. But I just have this because, uh, well, I like having uh, kind of Christmas-themed DVDs, I guess. So that's why I have that Disney Movie Rewards, and then it has this kind of old-school uh, Disney Movie Club advertisement here. And here you can see I ha uh, the artwork for the original have yourself a goofy little Christmas right there. Um, and that was nice artwork too. I, I'm, I'm sort of thinking I might want to just
go on eBay and see if I want to pick up another copy just for the sake of collecting because uh, I like that original artwork as well. But advertisements for a lot of other titles here. A lot of these are old school. Um, like, for example, you've got uh, like Donald in Math Magic Land as a Disney Movie Club exclusive. I just happen to have that right here as a reissue that they released in all the stores. Um, and then also the first release of DuckTales Treasure of the Lost Lamp, which I really liked the artwork on that one as well, uh, that original uh, Disney Movie Club artwork, but that of course got released, re-released. Um, here's another interesting set that I've never seen, uh, Zorro, uh, volumes one through five here. I think that this is probably pretty collectible now because I don't even know if they still sell this on Disney Movie Club and it hasn't seen any other releases. I'm not sure about that, but that's probably pretty collectible. But anyway, Darkwing Duck, It's a Wonderful Leaf on DVD. All right, so next we're gonna move into the next series here, which is one of my all-time favorites, um, and I think it's a lot of people's all-time favorites, and that is Recess, and we've got four different DVD releases, and I like holding them this way just because it really shows you the unique and the, the unique artwork on these and uh, just how nice and colorful these are. These are all really good releases and I'm happy to have all of them. Unfortunately, and I'm not sure why, I would think this would be one of the shows that uh, if any of the old school shows that Disney would want to release as like volume sets or complete series sets, I would think Recess would be the one, you know? Um, I think that's a favorite for a lot of people, but these are the four DVD releases that they've released of Recess, and they're just kind of samplers um, as far as the episodes go. Um, so I'll show you what we have here. Um, but yeah, like I said, Disney, please release a complete series release in some form, DVD, Blu-ray, I don't care, uh, physical media in any form of Recess. That'd be great, but uh, here's, we, here's what we have. Um, Let's see, I think I'll kind of separate these out a little bit um, and show you maybe the first releases. I think I think these two move these two came out before these two. Um, we have recess schools out first of all. This is an, this an, this is an original movie. This came out in theaters and everything. Uh, pretty cool. Um, I remember you know, I was a kid when this came out and so I was really excited to see this and um, it was really cool. Um, and it's a great movie. I really like it. And uh, but this is a, this is a, a special movie. Doesn't have um, you know it's not the TV episodes or anything. And as far as bonus features, it doesn't come with any uh, additional episodes or anything. But it does come with some pretty cool bonus fe bonus features, anyways. Music videos and things like that. There's the disc artwork. Very nice. Does also have a lot of uh, inserts in here. So I'll show you this uh, little manual it comes with, which is, or a coupon book, I should say. Uh, Mickey's Magical Christmas, Snowden at the House of Mouse, one of my absolute favorites, and I'll show you that in a second. Emperor's New Groove, you can see that old school VHS clamshell box advertisement there. Uh, has an advertisement for the Disney Club, whatever that was back in the day. Um... Let's see, Toon Disney. Look at that old school Toon Disney logo. I love it. Uh, 102 Dalmatians on DVD and VHS. I don't have that. Um, that'd be a cool one to find, but I bet it's, uh, it might be, you know, I'm sure it's out of print and kind of a little bit rare. Uh, some old, other old school VHS, Roly Poly Oli, Winnie the Pooh, some Halloween releases there. Air Bud World Pup. Myra. I don't know, I don't know anything about that, but... I think that uh, that dancing in the street is uh, featured in this movie, actually. Advertisement for Recess Christmas, which I have right here. And then, um, let's see here. So, then I'll show you this insert, which has a chapter listing, and then a list of the bonus features. So there's that. And it also has, like, a... You know, kind of a little comic book style thumbnails here, so that's kind of neat. So that is Recess Schools Out. Then the next one I'll show you is Recess Christmas Miracle on 3rd Street. And this one came out at the exact same time as Mickey's Magical Christmas. So these were kind of like uh, um, 
companions to each other in some way. Um, but yeah, this is this is a really good release. It's basically you take you take like I think it was like four episodes of the recess, you know, the original series, and you kind of put them together in a compilation, and then they kind of put a little Christmas themed backstory to it a little bit. But so in that sense, it's a little bit cheesy. Um, because you can tell it was, uh, you know, th this isn't like an original movie or anything. It's just kind of a cheap way to, you know, they made a little bit of a backstory to this, but it's really just kind of combining uh, some episodes together so they can string them together and call it a feature, I guess. But I still really like this. Um, and yeah, and I really, really like the discard on this. Super cool. And uh, there's the spine. And then here's the back. Um and yeah, it does have a few bonus features, but nothing nothing super exciting. But again, nice artwork overall on this. And it's just got that really thick feeling, original, old school DVD release uh, feeling to it. You know, the, it's just a nice thick case and you got all this, uh, all these inserts and stuff inside. So um, nothing like you get today with everything being in an eco box case and you just get the disc inside and it's super cheap. So... Uh, but let's take a look at this. We've got another uh, advertisement manual, and these are just fun to go through for me just because they're so old school. Fall 2001, that's how old this thing is. This is 20 years old. Hard to believe. Um, and, that's, and actually, it's really hard to believe when you think about it that this is a DVD that's 20 years old and we're, they still sell DVDs at stores. That's actually kind of weird when you think about it. Um, so definitely, you know, I get it. It's time for DVDs to kind of go go away, I guess. It's time. But, in any case, I'm, I'm still a f physical media fan, so. Anyway, let's take a quick look through this. Um, gold Classic Collection there. Those old school DVDs. Um, there's a lot of them being advertised there, and I liked the artwork on a lot of these a lot. Very cool stuff. Um, it's it's one of those it's one of those rabbit holes I could easily find myself jumping into, like trying to come trying to dig up the, uh, you know, through eBay and thrift stores, trying to find all these old school gold collection DVD releases just because they were so cool. Um, but look at all these, all these old DVD releases, really, really cool stuff. Um, yeah, so it's got all these original Toy Story DVDs and stuff. So all this old school DVDs, uh, really neat. So just kind of keep thumbing through these just because I really like checking out this old school artwork. And I don't remember ever seeing that uh, particular Bugs Life release, the collector's edition with that style artwork. Um, I don't remember ever seeing that, but that's pretty cool. Dinosaur. And I remember this old uh, Ultimate uh, Emperor's New Groove DVD release. I never saw that in stores, I don't think, but I, I heard of it. It's kind of interesting. This big Fantasia box set. I, I wonder if that's... Uh, Kind of a collectible piece, if anybody knows about that. I'm not sure. Old school Tarzan collector's edition. So they had some really cool, uh, interesting old uh, releases back in the day. And they also had this Toy Story toy box set, collector's edition, whatever that is. Uh, looks like it had the first two movies and a bonus disc of supplemental features, which you can see what they are right there. I'm guessing a lot of those features got, uh, you know, released on some of the Blu-ray releases and stuff, but anyway. And then these Disney Treasures DVD sets, which are now all, of course, out of print, and uh, I think some of those are pretty collectible. Uh, we've got the chapter search, and then um, bonus feature listing as well, so that's really neat. And if I didn't show it yet, here is the artwork on the disc, which is nice. There it is, Recess Christmas Miracle on 3rd Street. And then they released these, and these are also, you know, technically kind of uh, kind of cheesy releases because they just made kind of a cheap backstory to these, but they're really just stringing a few episodes together from the series and sort of making them into, you know, calling it a movie, I guess. So we've got All Growed Down on the left here, and then we've got uh, Taking the Fifth Grade on the right. So this one is like kind of going back to their, I think it was kindergarten days or whatever. And then uh, fifth grade, so moving to the fifth grade. Um, so, but these are all, these are pretty cool releases. I, I feel like I want to 
pop these in again. I haven't seen these in a, you know, a few years at least, I think. So, and I, I bought these on eBay, so it says not for individual sale, this sticker here. I think that I got, I think these, I don't know. I guess the, I, I know that they sold these together as a bundle, so I think that's what this one was. Um, but anyways, um, it's got a DVD bonus feature, fans three favorite episodes, which is cool. So there is a lot of content on these. Um, you know, you've got the, whatever episodes are strung together to, to, to kind of make this movie here, and then you also have some bonus ones. So there is a lot of stuff in here. Let's see if there's a runtime. It just says 61 minutes. That's for the main feature. So uh, that's that. And we've got the insert here, and it does show the the extra episodes included as bonus features. Advertisement for Lion Lion King one and a half. And then there's a look at the disc art, which is nice and colorful. And then taking the fifth grade, another interesting release. And this one has, as a DVD bonus, the, C the series premiere episodes. So uh, not quite as many as for a bonus as this one, which had three episodes. So the, C the series premiere episodes is just two. Um, so you get less of a bonus in that way, but you know, it's all right. So there's that. This one is a running time of 62 minutes again. So that's just, uh, you know, they make it just bare, made it just barely long enough to be, you know, I guess call it like a feature film or something. Uh, I suppose this one comes a little, a little manual, uh, Lizzie McGuire here. Uh, let's see free Disney DVD or video. When you buy any three, Disney or Power Rangers DVDs or videos. Interesting. Um, Lion King one and a half there again. And uh, uh, advertisements for, well, basically what I have. So that's kind of interesting. Here is the insert. And those are the episodes included as the series premiere. And that's that. And then a look at the disc art right there. So pretty cool stuff. Like I said again, really would be nice if we could get complete series release of Recess in some form. DVD, Blu-ray, I don't care, just physical media. So Disney, please do that just for us uh, physical media collectors. That would be awesome. All right, moving on to another series that was one of my old school one Saturday morning favorites. Uh, was Disney's House of Mouse, and these are the only two releases we've ever gotten of those shows, and these are holiday movies, and same story as uh, some of those Recess releases. They're just kind of, you know, making some sort of way to compile a bunch of old-school episodes into one and then kind of call it a movie. Uh, so I think they still did a really good job with these, though, even, even with that kind of cheapness factor, you know, associated with it. But Mickey's Magical Christmas snowed in at the House of Mouse, full-length holiday movie, and I really like this. I like the artwork on this, and um, they really did compile a good amount of episodes in here. Um, you know, it's got some of the uh, original House of Mouse or Mouse Works or whatever you want to call it episodes in it, um, but it also has the original um, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas as well. So it's a really cool release, and um, yeah, I really like that. As a bonus feature, it does have the premiere episode of House of Mouse, so that's a pretty cool uh, bonus as well. So let's take a look inside this one. Um, nice artwork on the disc, and it does have an insert here. And I don't know if this came with, uh, you know, if this ever came with an advertisement manual or anything. I, I bought this particular copy used on eBay, so it may not be 100% complete, but uh, any in any case, here's the uh, insert. And I had to run over to my shelf again because I forgot about this reissue of Mickey's Magi Magical Christmas. Um, and this, is, this I just bought just for the sake of collecting. Same exact disc inside, basically. Um, but it's got this uh, different style artwork, which I like quite a bit. And it's got this nice slip cover, so... Um, had to get this um, just for the sake of collecting, basically. Um, but yeah, I'll show you this real quick. 
Again, it's the same same exact uh, release on DVD. Of course, it has different, uh, more boring artwork on it, but it is, uh, when you put the disc in the player, it's exactly the same. So there's just a quick look at that one. It's just kind of a random reissue. I don't know why they ever reissued this one, to be honest. I guess just to cash in on the Christmas theme of it. I don't know, but it did get reissued. So like I said, these two are the exact same titles, but just for the the collector in me wanted to get them because they're, they're, the artwork variation is uh, a bit different. Then the other one is Mickey's House of Villains, Halloween themed House of Mouse release here um, with just uh, you know some random uh, episodes compiled together. And um, it's kind of a, I think it's kind of a mix of uh, both uh, some of the mouse works, semi more modern animation and also some, um, a couple like really old school uh, cartoons that they strung together into this. But there it is. And then inside here's what we get. Uh, this has a scene selection, bonus features. It also has this security tag on the back for some reason. Then here is a look at the disc. And this particular copy I think I got used on eBay back in the day. Um, I think this one, I think this one started becoming like really, it started selling for a high amount of money on eBay for a while. I'm not sure if it still is or not, but, um, in any case, I don't really care because I have my copy and so that's all I need. All right. So moving right along with the one Saturday mornings type of stuff is, uh, this Disney movie club exclusive release of the weekenders. And this, both of these volumes make up the complete series. And this was one of my favorites for some reason. I don't know why I like this one so much, but The Weekenders was just a really cool series. Pretty short series, too. It only had about 40 episodes, or I think 39 uh, with both of these, since this is a complete series. So it was a pretty short series, but a uh, really good one. I really liked it. And uh, this was, I, I guess this must have been some sort of exper uh, experiment by Disney Movie Club just to see how well these would sell, because this was like you know, the only one of this style of release that they really put out. Like, you know, there's a lot of other shows they could have issued just the same way. Um, and they just released The Weekenders. I'm glad they picked The Weekenders, I guess. But, you know, what else? Like Lloyd in Space and all those other kind of shows. Um, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. There's so many other ones. And, you know, for whatever reason, they released The Weekenders. And that's about all we've had. So, um, but in any case, I'm glad to have this. So here's a look at the front artwork of the first volume and there's that inside is pretty plain uh, got your Disney Movie Club advertisement here or Disney Movie Rewards excuse me and uh, disc one and disc two pretty plain stuff and then we've got the second volume right here So there is that. There's no bonus features on these or anything. It's just the episodes. Um, I won't pull this out just because it's the same as the first one. But though, though there are, you know, those are. There is there is the Weekenders, one of my favorite uh, old uh, one Saturday morning shows. So really cool to have that. But again, it would be cool if they released some more of those older shows. Um, you know. They could have done the same thing with Recess, for example, but they didn't, so I don't know what the story is with that, but... Moving right along, I've got some movies here. Movies of older shows. So, Doug's first movie, which, um, of course, there is Disney's Doug, which was an old-school series. And, uh, you know, this doesn't have any bonus features or anything, as far as I know. Just the movie, and it was a Disney... It's a Disney Movie Club exclusive. Um... So here it is, but I'm just showing it because this is based off of a Disney TV show. Uh, so um, another one that would be cool to have a complete series release of. I know that a lot of people really don't care for Disney's Doug. Um, so, and I kind of understand why, like, the, it's hard to beat the original, the original Nickelodeon Doug. Um, I'm a little weird, though, since I... For a lot of my childhood, I didn't have cable. I did at sporadic times, but for most part, I didn't, uh, especially when I was pretty young. So 
I grew up with the Disney Doug. I never, I didn't, see, I didn't even know that Nickelodeon's Doug was a thing until like well after I had been watching Disney's Doug on one Saturday morning. So I kind of have a unique perspective in that since, you know, I saw Disney's Doug for just what it was without having the comparison of the original Nickelodeon Doug. And so I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. And um, I would like to see the Disney Doug get a, a DVD release or some sort of physical media release. I know, but I know a lot of other people who grew up with the Nickelodeon Doug just are like, dude, the Disney is crap. The Disney Doug is just, you know, and I know they changed a lot of things. And um, so, but my perspective is a little unique because I never saw the Nickelodeon Doug until after. So I like the Disney Doug, but I wouldn't say that I like it better than Nickelodeon's necessarily, but I do still like it. Uh, then a, Anyways, moving on, we've got Teacher's Pet, the movie. Um, so there's that. And this does come with a bonus episode uh, from the series. It has a series premiere episode. And inside here is what we get. Um, has a nice insert. And the disc art is quite nice on this as well. It's been a while since I've actually watched this movie, so I, I, I don't think it's like one of my favorite movies or anything, but it's okay, and um, I like that it has that uh, bonus episode there. Another show that would be cool to have a, you know, a complete series release of. And same goes with Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Uh, this is kind of like the, the movie, I guess, but it is basically... Uh, you string together the first three episodes, I think, of this series, and that is basically what's included in here. So this was a really cool uh, series that I remember watching on one Saturday morning and also on Toon Disney um, a little later on, a few years after it was uh, kind of um, on one Saturday morning for a while. Nice insert there. This is another one that I picked up used on eBay, I think, so don't know if it's uh, missing anything. But there is the uh, DVD there. Nice artwork. All right, so moving along here. Um, here's kind of a random one, I guess, of titles that I have. Schoolhouse Rock. And this is another one that was, uh, uh, this was on one Saturday morning. Not one that I particularly enjoyed, like, a lot. But, you know, it it's kind of a unique uh, little series or, you know, I'm not I'm not even sure... You know, I'm trying to remember exactly how they kind of put this together into episodes because um, obviously these are like a collection of various, uh, you know, like short songs, I guess, that they put together. You can see uh, on the bottom here, it includes 46 original Schoolhouse Rock animated songs, right? So they, I, I guess, I don't remember if they like compiled a certain number of them together to make episodes that they showed in half hour blocks or whatever but the way that these DVDs are organized anyways I think is by uh, by the different Schoolhouse Rock songs but anyways like I was saying um, I do have a few random ones of these a lot of I think there's probably a lot more that I don't have and um, you know and it's just they've released a lot of you know they released this version which is the 30th anniversary edition um, just has you know, I'm not sure if this is like a greatest hits sort of sort of deal on here, but this is probably the most comprehensive uh, DVD that I have of this show. So I'll just show you that here, and um, so there's that. And then let's see. So the disc one has the original 46 animated songs. It's it's possible that this is you know I I just really haven't looked into this enough I guess but this might be like a kind of complete series thing, and then these are more themed ones. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure if they're I don't know. I'd have to do a lot more research on this. I've just basically collected uh, whichever DVDs that I've come across that have been reasonably cheap. So this one I picked up online because I thought this was kind of like the definitive. Uh, sampling of this show to have if you're going to have any but some of these other ones I've picked up at like thrift stores and things like that so uh, but anyways 46 original songs and then there's a whole bunch of other bonuses here so uh, there is a lot of stuff in here so it's pretty cool and um, I feel like my mind is just kind of all over the place with this one but inside we've got a Disney movie Rewards 
code right there. Then we have each of the discs here. So there's disc number one, and then disc number two. Nice colorful artwork on these. So there's that one. Um, and then the other ones are just single disc sets. Um, and this one, I, this one I had to pick up. I, I don't remember where I got this. I don't think I got this at a thrift store, but I, I might have got this from like Disney Movie Rewards or something. Schoolhouse Rock Earth. I like anything kind of weather or earth themed, so I had to pick this one up. And so this one has 11 all new songs plus a new music video. So I guess these are all different from this one as far as I can tell. And uh, so that's that. And uh, we'll open this one up. And this one has more uh, kind of plain style artwork. And it also has that same Disney Movie Rewards insert. And then another one, Election Collection, limited edition. I think this was a thrift store find. I can't remember, though. Um, and being that these are a lot of election sort of... Um, features on here. I feel like a lot of them are probably in this one. Um, but yeah, just it was a different release so I thought I'd pick it up. This one has nice artwork on it. And we do have a couple inserts in here as well. High School Musical in Hannah Montana it also has the advertisement for the DVD itself. So there is that. And then the last one, another thrift store find, I think is Multiplication. So a math-themed Schoolhouse Rock DVD release. And then inside here, um, there's the disc artwork. I don't have any other inserts. They might have come with it, but like I said, I picked this up used. So, um, And this is an interesting one. This is Disney Educational Productions. So, you know, a lot of these, some of these might not have, you know, they're, they wouldn't be really something that you would find in the stores. I know that back in the day, um, you know, for some of these special educational type of Disney DVDs, you could, you know, there was like educational catalogs or something that you could get them from or whatever. That must be what this is, basically. You know, so for all I know, this would have, this might have been shown in some sort of school somewhere, and then it ended up at a thrift shop, and I happened to pick it up. So, uh, kind of interesting. Um, like I said, I don't know if a lot of these are included in this one or not, but in any case, I've got four different releases of Schoolhouse Rock. Uh, just I show, and I'm um, just including those in this video because I know that this was something that they showed on one Saturday morning. I remember. Uh, I can very loosely remember the one Saturday morning schedule. You kind of had the, the better cartoons on like 8, 9, 10 o'clock a.m. or something like that. And then towards the end, once you got close to noon and they started to switch over to their regular kind of more boring program, they, they kind of had some of those not quite as entertaining shows and Schoolhouse Rock was one of them kind of towards the end of the one Saturday morning segment. It'd be cool to, to try and find some old schedule listings of one Saturday morning. I don't know where I, where you would find those. I'm, I'm sure they're online somewhere, perhaps. Um, maybe somebody has archived some of those things. I have no idea, but, but in any case, uh, we shall move on. And this is just one last one. This is really, you know, Kim Possible here. This is what this was a Disney movie club, club release, these titles, and then I also have this movie release here. Um, this is really one show that is after my time, I would say. Um, this is a show that got released kind of just as I was kind of getting out of watching, you know, cartoons like regularly, like new ones, I guess you could say. Um, because I, when I was a kid and, you know, into my early teens, I would say, I, was, I, I followed cartoons pretty closely and I enjoyed them, but I did sort of kind of lose interest in like the newer cartoons that came out at a point and Kim Possible was one of the first ones where I was like I I'm just not interested in that it's like and it's not let it's not that I like stopped liking cartoons necessarily I think that's how it is for uh, most kids when they grow up and and they get to that point in middle school or whatever um it was different for me because it wasn't that I lost interest in cartoons themselves but it was that I lost I just didn't really catch on to the newer ones and I started to just keep a grasp on the older ones that I watched when I was 
you know, really in the prime of my childhood. So which are these other ones that I showed you guys. So that's just kind of uh, a little backstory into, I guess, how things worked for me growing up, um, you know, and sort of losing interest in cartoons, but also not, if that makes any sense. So Kim Possible isn't one that I grew up with, but I, I kind of have this just for the sake of collecting, I guess, because it's, um, you know, just interesting to have this. This is, like I said, these two volumes were released exclusively on Disney Movie Club, and you can tell that they're kind of old school releases because they have this box style uh, format, and I don't think this was ever reissued in a, you know, a standard size DVD kind of case, so that's why I have these versions. If it was ever reissued that way, I would pick those versions up, but so these are the ones I have. And these kind of give you an idea of what those like original DuckTales and Darkwing Duck and those shows, the, the packaging styles of those shows, it was just like this. So uh, here are the three uh, outwork, uh, artworks for these e uh, individual releases. So here they are. And we'll take a look at each of the discs inside, starting with disc one, right there. Pretty uh, plain. Uh, does have a Disney Movie Rewards ad right there. And I'll show you disc number two. Just have the disc in this one. And same is true for the third one right there. Alright, so here's the second season, and this is just like a lot of the other ones where you got the first and second season, and I, you know, I'm not sure if there were just two seasons of Kim Possible, but I don't think so. I think there were more of them, and uh, these are the only two that we've gotten released. So, so I guess if, the, if there were only two seasons of Kim Possible, we have the complete series, but I don't think so. And if that's the case, then we are missing some. But, anyway, here's disc number one. There it is, same Disney Movie Rewards thing there, so I won't pull that out. Disc 2, right there. And finally, disc number 3. And there's that artwork right there. And then... Just like they did with the, uh, you know, the DuckTales and stuff, they uh, did a compilation pack for some of these individual releases of Kim Possible movies. So you got the Kim Possible movie, So Not the Drama, uh, A Sitch in Time, The Villain Files, and The Secret Files. I, I really, I'll be honest, I haven't seen any of these. Um, this is just for the sake of collecting. Uh, maybe I'll watch them someday, I'm not sure, but... Um, just wanted to get them for the sake of collecting because it's just kind of a cool little collection. But yeah, just uh, kind of a repackaging of four of these um, individual movie releases, which is kind of cool. It's a good way to get them for a cheap price. I think this sold for 15 or 20 bucks or whatever it was. Um, and it should still be in print as far as I know. I'm just not, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to be easy to find in any stores or anything. You'll probably have to buy it online at this point. But... Um, Disney Movie Rewards and Disney Movie Club advertisements inside. This little sticker I have up here was on the plastic wrap, so I just uh, took that off and put it on the inside. Um, and then this is a weird one because it has uh, stacked discs inside. Um, so you can tell it's a fairly modern release, doing things kind of cheaply. Um, but here, it, it does have nice artwork on these, which are, you know, like the originals artwork that you would get uh, buying these individually. So there's that, and then the last one here. So really nice uh, artwork on all of these, I will say. Alright, so this really did end up being quite a long video, but I just wanted to show you guys my collection of... I guess old school Disney cartoons on DVD. So there it was, and I hope I didn't miss any, but I, there's a possibility I could have. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next video.